none of it was overnight, man. It was all just preparation and and the desire to uh, continue to get better. Like, I, I wanted it more than anything. So when I look back at 2016, really 2015, it's like I can see just the the growth in me where it's like if none of those events between 2015 and 2017 happened I wouldn't be where I am right now just mentally like spiritually just you know the positive me you know the energy that I have just the determination I mean like <clears throat> the hard work that that sent me it was developed in high school from just it's like my my talents weren't natural. Like the talent that I had, that not a lot of people had, was the the work ethic, the discipline. I had that, and I didn't necessarily know how to apply it to football. You know, when I was playing in high school, I didn't know how to apply it there. But it's like because I was um, working on that that area of my life. Like, as far as, like, the discipline and the determination, I was able, well, now I'm able to apply to, you know, my life, you know, versus, like, on the football field, where it's, like, when I say I didn't have the natural uh, uh, abilities, I'm talking about the height. I didn't have the height. I didn't have the size. It's, like, I was going to have to work harder um, just to get, you know, what what I, I, I could get. I definitely could have got it, but, you know, when... I was looking at it, and so I'm glad that I didn't uh, go all in with it because it's like just like you see how football players are at the end of their careers, and I mean I'm just glad everything worked out like this right here. You know I'm I'm, I'm really happy about that. <clears throat> like um, <laughs> when people look at you know how. You know this this music is turning out. They they look at they go back. They look at the the fairy dust, the the SOS, the to the top, uh, little boy closer. Like any old music that they find, they'll just be going back and be like, yo, like. And I'm I'm happy that I'm like doing all this content, creating all this, cause it's like, yo, I listen to music as if what if I'm not here anymore? How will they hear me? And it's like, what what will be the perception of me with my voice, you know? And you know, just just that thinking is like that's what goes into everything I write, even when I perform, like on stage, and even like people I cross paths with. It's like I come off as many things: an asshole, a gentleman, a, 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 a inspirational person. I come off as as many things, but. All in all, what, what, what people will be able to say, or rather what they won't be able to say, is that I wasn't uh, a genuinely good person. It's like, because through and through, it's like, I'm gonna be me. And that, that was the biggest thing. It's like, I might laugh, I might get mad, all this and that, but you won't be able to say that I'm a bad person because I treated everyone, even the people that, uh, that I, <clears throat> that we don't, that we're not on the best terms, they can never say I was a bad person to them, ever. And then so, it's like, I take pride in that. And that's what I like to put in my music, too. So, like like I was saying, from 2015 to now, it was like, it, nothing about this was overnight. It was all developed, and uh, I aspired for it, and I went after it. Now that I have it, it's like, the next step is to continue to grow, and get more and help other people get there. And so that's a beautiful thing. It's a long-winded answer. <laughs>